Hello, everybody. Welcome to a moment of clarity. Let's talk about the impeachment. The Democrats are fucking idiots. They're idiots and they're assholes. And, and here's the thing. Let me just say up front, absolutely, Trump is a fuck. I fucking despise Trump, all right? He's, 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 he's the, the worst kind of narcissistic, megalomaniac, billionaire, fucking dipshit, okay, in a million different ways. That is, honestly, we can agree on that. We can agree. But here's the thing. The, de the Democrats are not impeaching Trump for the actual things he should be impeached for. And, and I'll get to that. I'll get to what they're really impeaching him for in a second. I, I know mo most of you know, but we'll go through some of the details in a second. But let me just... just I just want to get this out of the way. Should he be impeached? Sure. Sure he should. Fucking impeach him for, oh, I don't know, war crimes. The fact that he is obliterating people around the world. We dropped tens of thousands of bombs. Most of them killing innocent civilians. That's per year. Per year. But Democrats wouldn't do that, right? Because they do it too. That's their gig too. Absolutely. Obama dropped tens of thousands of bombs as well. Because guess what? Our president doesn't run the military. They say they do. But in fact, at the end of the day, it's the Pentagon just going fucking nuts. Um, you could impeach him for, let's say, enriching himself with the presidency, right? Absolutely. The Trump hotels, the Trump golf courses. He wanted to hold one of the summits at one of his fucking resorts. He, 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 he's enriching himself every minute of every day with the presidency. But the Democrats wouldn't do that, right? Because they enrich themselves with their positions all over the place. I mean, maybe they don't do it as blatantly as Donald Trump. They don't walk in front of a podium and say, hey, uh, as president, fucking go golf at my goddamn golf course. No, they wouldn't do that. They're not that dumb. He's that dumb, I guess. Or bold, whatever. Hubristic. Is that a word? But they are enriching themselves. You know what Obama did within days of finishing his reign as president, he went and gave a speech to Wall Street for $400,000 for a single speech. The fuck do you think he said that warranted $400,000? But he waited until the day after he was president so that it looked like he wasn't enriching himself with the presidency. They are all enriching themselves with the presidency. That is what they fucking do. Or the other senators and other Congress people enrich themselves with their positions. So they're not going to go after Trump for that. They might mention it here and there. I'm not saying none of them have ever mentioned it. But that's not what they want to hold him to account for. Because then they'd have to be held to account for that. Um, how about the uh, uh, rape? Sexual assaults? He's had, what, 26, 20-some women come forward saying he sexually assaulted them. Several of them said they were raped. That's fine, I guess. <clears throat> I guess. But no, the Democrats don't want to do that because guess what? Many of them have skeletons in their past, whether it's sexual assault, sexual harassment, uh, various things. And, and you know, so let, let, let boys be boys, right, you fucking assholes? What else? His racism. And I don't just mean the way he speaks in a racist, the th racist things he says, you know, Mexicans are all rapists or whatever. Uh, it's because, you know, it'd be weird to impeach a president for something he said in a, in a campaign speech. But you could actually look at his racist actions, right? Banning Muslims from certain countries, uh, putting kids in cages. And while he's matching those actions with the racist things he's saying at the podium, you can see the two co uh, you know, co coordinating together. But Democrats wouldn't do that, right? Because many of those things, they've done. There were kids in cages while Obama was president. Not as many, but there were. So in terms of actions, yeah, we have racist actions. We're a white supremacist country. We were a white supremacist country when Obama was running it. We were bombing countries, almost exclusively non-white countries, and not giving a fuck about Muslims, right? Because we don't care about them. So our policies are white supremacist, and the Democrats know that deep down in their hearts, even if a lot of them won't admit it. And so they're not going to impeach him for racism. No, they wouldn't want to do that. I mean, we are a country founded on genocide of the indigenous people here. So let's, let's be honest. You know, let's not, let's not act like this is something new 
that America just invented. They impeach him for the doing the bidding of Wall Street, right? Fucking what he does every day. Massive tax cuts to the richest. Letting corporations run fucking wild. The amount they are exploiting and harming individuals, whether it be polluting our air or water, the gas companies that he has bent over backward to try and help, gutting the Endangered Species Act so that they can fucking drill in a goddamn polar bear's den or whatever the fuck. He's done all that shit. But guess what? Democrats did too. Maybe not as aggressively. Maybe not as uh, forthright in all of it. But to a large enough extent that they can't impeach him for that. That's something they did too. So, no, they're not getting him for that either. Uh, how about unlimited surveillance of American citizens? How about that one? That sounds like a pretty unconstitutional thing to do, to allow the endless, warrantless surveillance and infiltration of our, of our data, of our, of our communications on a mass scale having no, with, with, with no suspicion of having done anything wrong? Wow, that sounds horrific. That sounds like something a president should be impeached for. Oh, that didn't start under Trump, did it? Started under Bush and grew, grew larger under Obama. So the unlimited uh, surveillance and search and seizure, seizure of uh, Americans' data and uh, communications, everything, totally cool because it's been done under several presidents. So Democrats aren't going to get him on that. No, 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 of course not. Uh, killing others with our, with our economic war on various countries, right? Tens of thousands have died in Venezuela from our economic sanctions, the latest report has shown. 40,000 in the span of a year and a half or so have died from our economic war on them. Who dies? Well, the poor, right? The poor, the children, the ones who can't just uh, get by when, with, with, with their savings accounts when things get rough. The ones who can't have, have some sort of way to buy expensive medication because the medication has been cut off coming from other countries. So he's killing kids, killing, killing the poor. But, but Democrats aren't going to get in for that, right? Because economic war is a thing America loves to do. We're all about it. Trump's been a little more blatant about it, a little more forthright, you know? Uh, under Obama, you didn't have John Bolton going on Fox News and saying, we want to go into Venezuela for the oil. But... Pretty similar stuff, pretty similar economic wars in various countries. So there's a lot of things that Trump should be impeached for. The Democrats are not going to impeach him for any of that. They're not impeaching him for any of that. What they're doing, they're impeaching him for a phone call to the president of the UK and Ukraine. And, and beyond just uh, the phone call, uh, what the phone call they claim showed was that Trump was holding up aid. This is the terminology they use, right? Aid to the Ukraine. Uh, in order to get his own political uh, things done in, in order to uh, try and hurt his political opponent, Joe Biden. Now, you break that down, Trump was holding up javelin missiles, right? That's what, that's what it was. I know the mainstream media doesn't really want to talk about this, but javelin missiles to Ukraine, something that Obama had not done. Obama refused to send the missiles to Ukraine because he had said it was too inflammatory with Russia to send missiles, uh, you know, to, to Ukraine. So he hadn't done it either. But Trump was holding them up in order to get an investigation into an absolutely clearly corrupt dealing by Joe Biden, which Joe Biden bragged about on stage. You can go watch the video. And our mainstream media will just say a debunked conspiracy about Joe Biden. No, it's not debunked at all. It was Joe Biden clearly bragging about holding up aid. Now, that was actual aid, like loan guarantees, not missiles, um, in order to get uh, a prosecutor fired who was investigating his son's oil company that he had placed his son on in the Ukraine. So Joe Biden, whatever, it, it doesn't really, the details are fucking muddy and everything, but corrupt proceedings. Equally corrupt to Trump. I'm not saying Trump's any less corrupt, but corrupt proceedings, right? And so Trump was looking into that because, yeah, because he wanted to hurt his political opponent because Trump is corrupt. Um, and then the other investigation in the Ukraine had to do with the origins of the completely false Russiagate story, which has been the Mueller report showed that there was no collusion between Trump and Russia and all that bullshit, all that McCarthyist red-baiting bullshit. So 
he's trying to find out where that started, how that started. And there's a certain people at the bottom of it, which again, you get into these details and they're kind of, they're, they're, they're people's eyes glaze over. But there's someone named Joseph Mifsud who seems to be the beginning of it all. Um, and he, the, he has disappeared off the face of the earth. No one seems to be able to find him. Um, I think he was living in Italy when most of this was going down. But he, uh, it seems very likely, was a, connected to the CIA, a CIA asset or an FBI asset, probably CIA. Um, there are a lot of telltale signs. And anyway, he's now vanished off the face of the earth. So it does seem quite likely that this was a setup to try and bring down Trump. Why? Because the mainstream ruling elite don't really like Donald Trump. They wanted to stop him from becoming president. They'll do the same thing. And here's why this should piss off left-wing people that fucking hate Donald Trump. They will do this same shit to Bernie Sanders if he were going to win the presidency. They would set up fucking sting operations. They would use CIA assets and, 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 and CIA uh, and, and, and deep state in general, but NSA, whatever, doesn't matter, State Department assets. Um, to try and set him up, to make him look bad, to say he had dealings with Russia. They do it all with Bernie Sanders. And they're always already accusing Bernie Sanders of being, uh, you know, uh, some sort of secret Russian or something. So all of this is going to be done to Bernie Sanders if it looks like he's going to win. Besides, I mean, they're doing a million other things to rig the primary. But if it looks like he's going to win, they'll do the same shit. And they did it to Trump. And now Trump is trying to out it. Like I said... Trump is a completely awful, corrupt, uh, racist rapist. Uh, you know, the, the, the rape thing is, what, innocent until proven guilty. But honestly, you know, it was going, to, there was a court trial in New York where a girl said she was raped by him and then the court trial disappeared. I mean, the court case disappeared. Who knows? But anyway, the sexual assault is proven because he admitted to it on live television. So, you know. Just grab women by the pussy. Why not? Uh, so he's a horrible human being. But what's going on in these proceedings that you're seeing uh, fucking endlessly peppered across your television screens? That shit is a joke. It's a joke and it's pathetic and it's sad to watch the Democrats do this because they won't fucking take him on on the list of actual things he's done wrong because it's them too. It, it would indict the entire fucking Congress, largely. And so they just, well, they just leave it, just leave it be. Instead, they want to get him on this phone call because that, they thought Americans could sink their teeth into that, but they're fucking making fools of themselves. And anyway, as you can see, I have a bit of a nuanced position because you're supposed to only be for Team Red or Team Blue, right? That's it. That's all you're allowed to say. If you come out with videos, fuck Trump, fucking impeach him. Or you come out with videos, this is a sham. Don't impeach him and he's the best guy ever. And if you try and go in the middle of that, I'm, I'm not even trying to go in the middle of that. I'm just having a fucking legitimate factual debate about the reasoning behind all this. If you try and do that, then people are like, well, that doesn't fit in with my black and white worldview. Why are you not saying hate Trump, love Trump? Put, please push the button where it says hate Trump, or love Trump. Those are the two options. Do not say anything else. Um, <laughs> so, honestly, and that's what's going on. That's what you're seeing endlessly. Like I said, uh, fucking sprayed across your television screens. All the indignant Democrats. This is a horrible. This is a, it violated the Constitution. Oh, God. Nancy Pelosi's thing with the fucking... Uh, the for what would she say with love with love in our hearts for America? Oh, it's so touching. We're impeaching the president for something that's fucking ridiculous because we want to, you know, because because we know we can't actually stand up for ourselves on the real legitimate things. And by the way, one last point here on why you shouldn't put your your if your full energy if you're an activist out there if you're someone who cares about these issues and you despise Trump. Why you shouldn't put your full fucking heart and soul into getting him impeached on anything, even if it is this ridiculous charge, is because you take out Donald Trump, you get Mike Pence. Mike Pence could arguably do everything Trump's doing except worse because Mike Pence would actually have the full support of all the Republicans across the country in terms of, uh, and I mean elected officials, I don't know about voters, but elected officials, because 
he'd, he'd be better at, at the bureaucracy of destroying things. The reason Trump has, has, has not succeeded in many of the, and actually there were leaked phone calls or leaked something, leaked tapes of a, the business community basically saying they were worried that Trump was failing to put in sufficient people to gut all the regulations. So he's trying to gut all the regulations. He's trying to go after everything that stops a corporation from being able to destroy our lives. But he's failing in a lot of it because he's putting in fucking idiots. So, so in fact, you'd actually get someone who's more adept at destroying the system, at breaking the system apart. And by the system, I mean the system of protection, uh, what little is left against complete and utter corporate decimation of our world. So Mike Pence is not going to be a hero for you. Anyway, there's a lot of things to stand up for. There's a lot of things to fight for right now. And I just think this fucking impeachment sham, not to mention you know what's going to happen. The, 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 the House will vote for it. The Senate will vote against it. It'll be over. And then Trump is going to, if we continue down this path with the DNC destroying Bernie's every move and not even talking about him and rigging all the primaries so that they can force in some mainstream fucking lying candidate like Joe Biden or Pete Buttigieg, who is at the very least military, which he's very proud of, uh, or possibly CIA or some something because he has some very suspicious shit in his past that he can't seem to explain. Um, so you get uh, you get the military industrial complex as as a, your new president, as opposed to just running the Pentagon and everything else. Uh, well, not everything else, but the Pentagon. So if they keep trying to force that shit down our throats while undermining Bernie Sanders, you're going to get another Trump presidency for next time around. Anyway, I hope I broke a little bit of it down. I'm sorry I tried to take on everything all at once, but I feel like all these things are intertwined the election the 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 impeachment the all that shit um all right hope they cleared it up and yeah you'll get a lot of this well not not stuff about the impeachment but you'll get a lot of info about our system about our military industrial complex about our prison industrial complex about our our uh, wall street rule under which we live um you'll get that in my new book uh bullet points and punch lines and it is uh, available for pre-order at LeeCampBook.com. It's got an intro by Jimmy Dore, a forward by Chris Hedges. Uh, it's made up mostly of my Truth Dig columns. And then there's some new content as well. Check it out, LeeCampBook.com. Oh, and if you're in the U.S., there's a limited number of signed copies. You can grab a signed copy. That's, uh, you'll, you'll see all that at LeeCampBook.com. All right. Uh, please leave a comment. I answer many of the questions or comments in the viewer question episodes, so uh, I will continue to do that. Keep fighting.